everyone, and welcome back to Cluster B Milkshake. I am your host, along with my sidekick, Mr. Chicken, as always, my unconditionally loving support puppet. Um, today we're going to talk about complex trauma. Um, this is a 10-part series by Tim Fletcher. I just took um, part one and parts of part two of his series um, so I can uh, discuss it, this with you. And if you find this helpful, please go over and watch his stuff. This shit is very important. When I was getting into self-awareness mode and wanting to deep dive into why the fuck am I doing all of this shit, um, he is who I went to. So, um, yeah, and all of you nice codependents out there that think you can fix your partner or you're going to um, tape them to a chair and shit and put little ear things in and like um, you're going to heal that motherfucker. This is what I listen to. Okay. So I made notes and hopefully I don't, you know, mess it up. But you know me. I that's what I do. So um, he says that everyone who has um, codependency issues and you know who became the narcissist um, has complex trauma. The only thing is is that the codependence um, trauma that they had was not as severe as the one that became the narcissist. For the codependent, the codependent um, feels um, unlovable through neglect, abandonment, and abuse. Um, complex trauma produces shame, and it also makes you um, become in survival mode, just like the narcissist. But there are differences. Same coin different sides so um, he says that um, the codependent is addicted to destructive relationships um, that a healthy relationship is honesty trust and respect and you don't get that in a relationship with a narcissistic person or let's just say you know cluster B personality disorder or dirt um, people and you keep trying to make a healthy relationship out of you know where you do not have the base of a healthy relationship ever but you keep trying but you don't have the base everything just falls through everything just falls through um, so basically, um, you may try to fix yourself. You are the one that's, um, being honest. You are the one that is trying to be more trustworthy or make us believe that you are trustworthy. Let me look at your phone. Who are you talking to? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And so you are, you know, trying everything in your power to make us um, trust you, but you don't, you can't trust us. You may say that you do, and you may be like, okay, well, I won't look at your shit, and I won't, you know, I won't, I won't, but in the back of your head, you don't trust your toxic person. Um, the whole respect thing. We, uh, you know, bulldoze all over your fucking boundaries and shit. We don't fucking respect you. You, you, you know, we, um, we talk shit to you. You don't fight back. You do whatever the fuck that we want. You're a parent. We don't respect our parents. You know how parents get respect? They try to beat us up to get respect. Oh, I want to see some comments on that. No, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah, fuck you. Um, complex trauma always happens, usually in the home, where... There is one person in power, and he says usually it's a narcissistic person. 
So your parent was, one of your parents was either, you know, um, a narcissist or, you know, I would say any cluster B that um, is more, you know, the toxicity is more severe. Um, the parent or caregiver um, is selfish, um, neglectful, abandons you. They only want their needs met um, and their wants. They don't give a fuck. If, if you do not do that for them, um, you are made out to be the bad one. You are um, made to feel guilty for having your own wants, your own needs. We will call you selfish. Um, and only our emotions matter, of course. Your emotions are never validated. If we're upset, you have to make sure that Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, uh, 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 you know, and, um, yeah. So, uh, codependent relationships always have a narcissist in them. Uh, in childhood, uh, your needs were not met and you were made out to be selfish. This is where, um, your shame became your shame. Um, the definition of shame. You are not comfortable in your own skin. You don't like yourself. You have no positive feelings about yourself. You feel um, that you are unlovable. That you are unlovable. As a child, you don't want to sit in this pain. So to fix this, you will look for validation from the outside world. You need other people to think and feel positive about you. Now, this is what we do too, but for um, you, it's please love me. Put. This is how codependency begins. To deal with your shame, you become the people pleaser. So you don't have to look at yourself as the thing you believe that you were taught you were as a child. So you don't want to look at your own shame, okay? So um, as long as you're going out and um, making everybody else happy, it makes you feel good. You're happy because they're happy with me. To prove you are lovable, you have to be in a relationship. You will also have backups or jump into new relationships as well, some of you. Um, because being alone is unbearable because you would be like, um, I have nobody to please. I have nobody to take care of. Now you're either the fixer or the one who craves attention by needing the fixing. He said this too. So um, that sounds, doesn't that sound like, um, Vulnerable narcissism, to me, does. Uh, you crave people like, oh, oh please, I'm, I'm broken. Come and help me, come and help me, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me light, give me light. So the codependent has to be happy all the time or um, you believe that you will be dismissed. You have to be happy. Um, you can't be angry. You can't expose your own uh you know damaged self you you can't talk about your own shit number one we're gonna shit on you for fucking we don't want to hear that why why would i be with somebody who's you know um have to hear about your broken shit i'm the broken one mm. you have to um you know make sure that everything is perfect for me um, or um, I'm fucking better than everybody else and if I have a broken partner it's gonna make me look fucking bad man mm, no um, yes so uh, now you have to wear a fake mask of happy all the time hey hey can I start saying, hey, your mask is slipping. 
Your mask is slipping. You're getting angry. You're getting angry. You're not giving me my light. Your mask is slipping. Fucking glue that bitch on harder. Okay, um, so you have to stay not only positive, you have to keep everyone around you happy. Your happiness depends on everybody else's happiness. Now, your person doesn't have to be responsible for shit. You're taking care of all of their problems and emotional needs. You are the enabler. Here's the part where you start to believe that you are an empath. Do not give me shit, okay? If you want to cry about your um, unicornness, go to Tim Fletcher's and be like, fuck you, man. I got rainbows shooting out of my eyes. He says, you start to develop a radar system that is alert to their moods. Everybody's mood, right? I can feel, I can feel, right? You start becoming more sensitive to their emotional world rather than your own. So you're not even focusing on your needs at all. It's always everybody else outside of you. And you think that's fucking magic? It's terrible. Uh, it's terrible that you, um, you know, uh, you're basically walking on eggshells for the planet. And you think you're a fucking unicorn? I know, I'm passive aggressive. Okay. Now your whole identity is a reflection of them. When other people or your children stand up to a narcissistic parent, say like you're the wife or the husband and your kids are um, standing up to um, you know, their parent and stuff, and you um, beat up the kid or berate the kid, or, you know, and you call it respect, respecting the parent when, when they're like, he's treating me like shit, man. He's not doing just regular parental stuff. He is abusive. He is neglectful. He fucking um, abandons us to go and do his own fucking thing or she. And, and you want me to sit there and be like, that's fucking okay. And then the um, other parent is like, yeah, yes, you're, you are an enabler and you are treating your kid how to be a codependent. Abuse, abuse, you. And then, and, then, and then, you know, you come to me saying, my husband's a narcissist, yes. Well, are you fucking turning your kids into you, motherfucker, by telling them that they need to walk on eggshells around um, your fucking dude? Look inside, look inside, look inside yourself. Um, okay, since everything is about the other person, when you express your own needs, you feel guilty. This is why it's easy for them to isolate you or for you to isolate yourself because you feel guilty. If I go out and I fucking go do something, you know, I'm going to feel I'm going to feel bad because I'm not there for my um, toxic partner to, you know, he might, he might play the and mope around and do that little manipulation tactic. My ex-husband used to do that. Um, I know that um, there's some of you out there where um, your toxic partner will punish you for um, having your own life or wanting something, you know, and for any toxic people out there watching this, they need to rebuild their light source in themselves so they can give to you. So um, I think that it would be better instead of draining them dry to let them rebuild their own spirit so they have something to give your black fucking whole ass. All right. Anyway, so um, this is no excuse uh, for abuse, okay? Um, any, any of this shit that I am saying, this is not an excuse for abuse. We're not talking about that. We are talking about um, how 
you are enabling your partner, lying for them, covering for them, and you are becoming sicker to accommodate um, your narcissistic partner or whoever's on, you know, the cluster B. And um, you believe that your sacrifice to us, that we are going to see how much you deserve to be loved. And we will never, ever give it to you. Ever. Never. And it's not um, a malicious fucking thing, you know? How can a black hole give you anything? Huh? So stop trying to, you know, get light out of a black hole. We eat that shit, man. Anyways, um, so this is showing you that we did not create you. Your childhood created you. You go look at your fucking caregiver. You go look at your caregiver because they made you broken. And this is why you are with, you know, us. The, the fuckers that's going to keep you in that trauma state. The second part of his um, talk was going over the narcissistic part. And this was um, where the codependent was the one who um, their shame that they didn't want to look at was to, you know, uh, try to make everybody else happy. The narcissist was only my needs met. My needs matter only. So you give to get, we just take to have. Okay. So he says, um, because of the severe trauma and shame, which created, you know, the black hole of nothing that we feel inside, that we believe that we are, that our brains had to compensate, um, you know, as children and say, um, either we will deny that we have shame at all. We'll deny it or we're going to overcompensate to prove that we don't have any shame. So that's why you're like, they don't got no shame. They don't, No, that's all we fucking have. That's it. That's it. All we have is the complex trauma, severe, that caused severe shame in us. And all we are doing is trying to hide that shit. And, and, and saying that um, we are the Lord of light. We are the Lord of light. Um, I am the sun. And I have to control my environment. You. I have to control you to make sure that all of my needs are being met. Okay? And I believe that um, this is going to make me happy. Nothing makes me happy. Nothing makes me happy. Um, but, um, in reality, I am the black hole and there is not enough light to feed me. Not enough. Not enough. Okay. Now, um, we also have, uh, narcissistic people have, um, codependency traits as well. You know, as I said, um, even, 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 at, you know, when I'm talking about um, the codependency shit and um, I mean, the hiding of the shit, um, when we do the love bomb to make you um, happy, so we feed off of your, you know, happiness and your light and everything, you know, it's just you continue the love bomb through acts of service and, you know, all the other fucking love languages um, to make us happy, we stop. We stop. And, um, you know, 
we start projecting our pain onto you. And you're just projecting your, you know, codependency onto us. I hope that was helpful. Um, so in a sense, uh, when you say that, you know, we are attracted to, you know, the codependent, not the unicorn, the codependent, when we are attracted to, to get our needs met, you know, so that is true. That's not, that's not the only truth. Um, not, in, not am I not just attracted to um, a codependent who wants to give the light. I am attracted to the fucking vulnerable narcissist that um, is the broken, but the broken that wants, you know, the, the me to be the codependent, you know? And then there's that struggle all the time. It's like, um, fuck you for trying to make me feel guilty. Fuck you, you know? I, I am, you know, my codependency traits are tingling. I am making myself feel guilty and I'm, you know, shaming you. You, you, you're doing it to me, you know? And then I can just um, stay in that abuse cycle. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll talk about more on that subject later. I hope that was helpful. Yes, yes. Mm. How, I hope you guys have a nice day and I will see you here next time. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me and Mr. Chicken will be here as always because um, we don't have a life and that's okay. Don't feel bad for us because um, having to wear multiple masks all the time is fucking exhausting. Namaste.